Is it working? Can everybody hear me? Okay. Speak up. Shh. Um. <laughs> Ginger Matt and David. We want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Um, we really appreciate everybody taking time out of their busy days, busy schedules, and battling that three-hour traffic. For those of you that had to do that, we greatly appreciate it. We appreciate everyone here and every one of you. Um, you guys all mean a lot to us. Some we see regularly, some we don't, but doesn't mean you guys are not in our thoughts all the time. And we love you guys very much. Thank you for being here and joining us today. Ditto. And that's all you get from him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Because I don't want to get all emotional. So, um, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming out here to celebrate. You can't hear me? Hello, hello. Test, one, two, test. Yeah. Uh, thank you, every, each and every one of you, for coming out. Um, all my family members, all my new family members, okay? My boys, uh, you know who you are? <laughs> uh, no, we know who you are. Um, yeah, and then there's Georgie and Chiquita Chingona over there. Tavares. I love you guys. Thank you very much. I know it's kind of hard to come out here in the heat and everything. And, uh, oh, yeah. That's hard. But anyway, uh, love you guys. Uh, thank you, Carlos, Marta, um, uh, my boys, Ray, T, Rudy, my son, David. Oh, and the girls. <laughs> I, I love you all. You know that. Thank you. Uh, my boys from San Jose, Kenny, and the queen, former queen of uh, Turlock, uh, Mary Barrero. Glad she can join us today. We're busy schedule. Kenny. My boy, Joe. My brother, Joe. My brother, Jesse. And um, I just want to say, um, oh, oh, yeah, of course, Leo, Hector, and my boy Pete, he already left, damn it. Um, thank you guys very much for coming. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, um. So, um, okay, um, I might get a little emotional now because <sighs> I wish, I wish my parents could have been here. Um, my mom, my mom always said everywhere we went, because she helped with her, her, when she was going through her stuff and the doctors, and she would always introduce her, oh, this is my future daughter-in-law. And she was right. <sighs> And then, <laughs> and my dad that just, uh, my dad that just passed away last month. I was hoping he could hang on, uh, and he couldn't. So, um, I love you, mom, dad. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I thought the guys were supposed to go first, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, hopefully everyone can hear me. Um, to forewarn you, uh, in advance, I'm going to probably start crying at some point in this. So on behalf of my tia Heli and I, <laughs> we would like to thank everyone for being here today with us. Um, 
So, short story for you. Okay. Most children do not get to watch a love story begin. I was lucky enough to witness the whole thing. I was 15 years old when my mom told me that she was reconnected with a quote unquote friend from Facebook. <laughs> Of course, as a teenager, I didn't think much of it. It was Facebook. I'll never forget soon after that, the day that she got ready, dressed up to go on a date. Let me tell you, my mom never wore lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew something was going on when she showed up with that. Um, we're going to fast forward quickly through here because I don't want to make the speech go on forever like it can. So then there came the day where I had to meet Henry. And <laughs> at the time, I was 16 with a lot of attitude. And <laughs> I was not expecting to meet him that day. I was with my friends at the mall. And they happened to be there, just minding their own business the same way I was minding mine. And we happened to run into each other. And that was when she was like, oh, this is my friend from Facebook, Henry. <laughs> oh, I was keep in mind I was 16. We all f females have been there. And you're like, okay. <laughs> so let's just not say that's how that was supposed to go. Of course, that led to a lot of long calls when she was up all night laughing, and most important, happy. <laughs> An emotion that I had not seen on her in quite some time. Henry, you make her so happy. You accepted myself and David as part of your own. And you love all of us unconditionally. There are no words to express how grateful I am for you and how happy you make my mom. So you love each and every one of us, although we may all, Henry, Tiffany, myself, and David, show it differently. You are the most important man in our life. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> you're hiding. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me to be one of your maid of honors, loving me when I am most definitely hard to love, and being the most inspiration in my life. And cheers to the happy couple, please. <laughs> Tom? Oh. Um, I don't want to say too much. I'm just going to be like short and sweet, but. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm sweet too. Um, but uh, being a friend of Henry's, I thought, was, uh, was uh, something I was honored to be, you know, because um, it meant being a friend and a part of a, a, a special group. You know, I, I didn't have a big family, so being a part of the Tapia group and being friends with Henry and, and the Inigueses and the Tapias and the Del Torres, and I just thought, I mean, it was amazing to me. So I felt honored to be a part of that group and I feel honored to be part of this wedding and, and I hope that, Mar I know that Maria is gonna appreciate it as much as I do. So welcome to the family that I feel honored to be in. So congrats and God bless you guys. Cheers. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, thank you. Okay. I don't know. She's been telling me for like the last three days what to do, so I'm gonna try my best. So, uh, no, I know, that's your job, thank you. But, uh, wow, what do I say? Um, I've been in I've been in many weddings, many weddings, and haven't been a best man. That's a shock, right? I know. I, 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 um, <laughs> maybe it's because all my friends are single. I get shit. I don't know. Um, growing up with Henry is like three stages in my life. Uh, growing up in the South Capitol Avenue and El Monte Way with Joe and Jesse. Yeah, East Side, my brothers, the Ferreras, the Potts, the, the Brewers, the Spicers. Um, 
we built this community of friendship, and we all adored Henry because he would hit the home run on 280. He would, he would kick a 46-yard field goal at Powell Stadium that didn't count. Suspect, allegedly. Uh, saw, saw Henry knock some dude out one time because he was bullying us. It's like, wow. That's, that's a true, true family member. And then the second stage was him growing up, you know, the Navy, just doing things on his own um, and just admiring him every step. I, I got three older brothers that I admire, and I got older sisters and a younger sister that I admire, but Henry's something special. And uh, to experience the tough times with Dean Henry, watching little Henry be born, Tiffany be born, being there on their first birthday, and just being there for you, dude. Just being there was something special, you know? And uh, the last phase was pretty hard. You know, I, I don't know what it's like to, to lose a mom. I don't know what it's like to lose a dad. You know, Jesse, Joe, I freaking love you guys, man. It's hard. And to see how you guys are, Man, it was my godfather and my godmother. She, she made us a dolphin fan, Jesse, because she liked the colors. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have to explain it every time. Why, why are you a dolphin fan? Because I, I, I think my Nina bought it at Mervyn's on sale. <laughs> you know, and, and, and can you hear my Nino saying, God damn it, hurry up, we got to go. You know. <laughs> and I sit there and I look at Joe's a Denver fan. I'm like, orange and blue. That's my Nina. The Rams, golden, blue. That's my Nina. It, it was just an upbringing that was just unbelievable. And Joe, Jesse, you're a big part of it. I, I, I'm not standing here because I'm closer to him. I'm standing here because we all represent each other as true, true family members. True family members, man. True family members. And then the, the third phase was Henry trying to date again, which was, like, hilarious, man. Uh, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. It's like, he's on right Facebook. I'm like, I ain't doing that shit. You know, I, I had this great wife or gr girlfriend at the time. But, we, 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 you know, I, I would sit there, and I'm like, Andrea, like, Henry wants to date. What are we going to do? And she's like, try this Facebook thing. Like, the, the, all the dating things. I'm like, shit, man, this is crazy. But Henry was right there next to us. You know, I, I took Henry to places that I never imagined he would explore and, and do. And, and he shined, you know. Jean shorts everywhere we went. And I was like, damn, dog. I'm like, <laughs> you know, jean shorts. I'm like, damn, dog, we're going to go somewhere nice. He's like, jean shorts. He's all, but I got new Adidas. <laughs> So that, that's cool. Um, shoot, when times got hard, you know, I got to Texas late at night. We'd party, and <laughs> we're, we're, we're cooking linguine sausages on the side of the house one night, drinking the shit out of beer, and like, wow, and just talking, man. It was just it was something special. And then he said, hey, I met someone. I'm like, no, oh, Facebook. All right. We decided to go see San Jose State get their ass kicked by USC one Labor Day weekend. Uh, and we're, you know, this guy loves to drive everywhere. If you guys don't know Henry, he drives everywhere. So Tom and Henry took off driving. Andrea and I met him in Burbank. And uh, he's like, wait a minute, I got to answer the phone. And that's when me and Tom started to let it rip. Like, oh, my God, you're going to tell her you love her. And you know us, you know. We're at the gas station. He's on the phone. We almost hit a couple cars. And so it finally, he's like, hey, dude, we pulled over. And I'm like, hey, is, is she someone special? And he says, yes, she is, Raymond. I think you said it was 16-year-old when you met her at Notre Dame. We're saying he, he trying to be cool. Remember the Mustang, Jesse? You know, J you know Joe, the Mustang. He cruised over there. And Mustang two. My bad. It was it was a special edition. I know this. I know this is long, but what you gotta understand is this guy right here has the biggest heart in the world. And and to let us experience his life is is awesome. You know, um, golf is something else. We do it because we love it, and we do it because we can some drink, you know, of course. But the, the most special thing about Henry 
is he doesn't say a lot. He's very quiet. But he'll show you how he loves you by doing things for you. He's an example. You know, he, he, his actions speak louder than words. And to Henry today, for you to sit there and talk, I was like, whoa, he talked a little bit. <laughs> but what I got to say is that I don't replace Joe and Jesse. Please remember that, Joe, Jesse. We don't replace you guys. We're all family. But the one thing I did got to do is he's hugged me. He's cried on my shoulder. And I've told him that I love him. And he's told me he's loved me. Tom and I have been more than gracious to just be experiencing this whole life. So, Henry, Maria, as those we will talk shit all the time about coming out here because I'm, yeah, you know, it, it's freaking hella hot out here, and I'm just like, I'm still questioning why we're still here. But the one thing I know why we're here is because they love each other. They love each other, and you know what? Whatever you guys need, we're here for you. Love you. And the last thing I got to say is if you're a Bud Light drinker, dilly dilly. <laughs> and oh, by the way, real quick, I got to say something. Thank you, Henry and Maria, for remembering that I play music and DJ. It's an honor to DJ your guys' wedding. Um, and real quick, we, we, our family has gone through some rough tides these last few years and it's good to see a lot of family and friends here on a different note celebrating life like this thank you Henry congratulations and salute and with that note Henry Maria I'd like to invite you to the dance floor